Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I started doing some uh, beadlock rims. Um, putting on these uh, Pitbull uh, Rock Beast extra large tires on them. Um, yeah, they're nice and soft. As I did a video before, I'll link that up above here um, on, on all these, where I got these from at JJ Customs. So RC hop ups. Um, so I'm gonna build one real quick for you guys to see, and then we're gonna put them on here. And I have these extenders. And these are um, 12 millimeter hex, and they're 15 millimeter offset. Um, I'll leave links for all this stuff in the description down below. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. It's just, and you can look these part numbers up too. Uh, 0113. 19 uh, 1.9 beadlock rims actually very nice they all have uh, all the screws already come installed you do need to tighten them up though um, but yeah do uh, so we need to take all these out in the back Nice looking rims, guys. Nice looking rims. Got the RC hop ups on the center. Do a little bit more light here. So, yes, I would go through and tighten all these little screws up. It's nice that they come in here. But each one of them is, is just a little loose, guys. So go through and snug them all in. If you want, you might want to pull them all out and put Loctite in them. It's up to you guys. Okay, do the inside ones. There you go. Easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. So, there's the tire. They're nice and soft. Um, if you look at these tires, there's one one lip on the beadlock, right, on the bead. And then there's two on this side. So you can see how this one sits. It doesn't show. It's nice and clean there. And on the back, see how it's got that second lip? So you can put your tire on either side you want. From what I was told, there's no pattern on these. But I like my I like the rim the way it sits on this one. I tried it both than this side. It's a little more sunk in on this side, and a little more out on this side. So that's the way I'm gonna do it. So and I'm just gonna use the stock. I picked up the wrong um, two self two. Uh, I picked up the wrong foams for uh, the. Two, Two stage foam for these tires these are smaller so I'm gonna use these in a different tire that I have uh, these are the tall 1.9s um, which I forget what the height is um, and these are for the shorter ones there's two different sizes so I'm gonna use those in my other set I can just see. Um, See how much, see how much shorter those are. You see that? So those will fit perfect in those. These will fit perfect in here. It'll make this tire look a little bigger too. 
So we're going to try that. I, I tried putting them in here already. Um, and they were just, there was too much, too much air around it. I mean, these are, these will work fine for now, but next time I go into uh, JJ Customs, I'll probably pick up a set of uh, dual stage foams that fit these, the bigger size. But for now, we're using the stock because it actually feels really good, guys. So I'm not going to stress over it. Okay. And that's the side I want that on. And just do a little tug around just to make sure it's sitting in there right. You can feel it pop down in there. And then with this one, so you get the holes lined up with these holes when you put it in there. Kind of get real as close as you can. You can kind of slide it around a little bit. I was told by another guy if you put a little bit of soapy water like they do with real cars on the beads, you can spin everything around a little bit easier. And then I take something like that. You could take like a socket, right? You could take like a socket or whatever, something round that'll fit in here. Put a little cloth over it so you don't scratch it up. But this seems to be working. And you just kind of push down on it. Get your screw started. And once you get one started, you're pretty golden. So then you kind of want to make sure everything's still lined up. And just a little tiny tug. You don't want to pull too hard because it'll pull the the bead out of the rim and then you have to start all over again so okay it's looking good move. put one more screw in over here i like to work my way around a little bit and then it, it closes it as it goes Closes the gap, so it's not so hard getting that other side in. Okay. You guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay. Then I'm going to close this one a little bit more and this one across a little more. And then these two will just go right in, no problem. And you, you, you can lock tight these. I, I wouldn't lock tight these ones back here. Um, just because if you get water inside them or you want to change them. These front ones, yeah, you could do all Loctite on those. So then I just do a star pattern, guys. Just go a little at a time. And just check them every once in a while, you know. The maintenance on your truck, that's all what this hobby's about. You know, it's about, you know, having fun, but you still got to maintain your your RCs. Yeah, see? See how that popped out? Nah, it wasn't good. I got to open it all back up. 
put it back in. I wasn't paying attention. This side came out nice. All right, guys, they came out nice. I like them. They're nice and soft. Even with the stock foams, guys, I think these are gonna work good on here. So here's the extensions, part number right there, RHU 0108. You can actually start uh, punching in these part numbers on uh, JJ Customs website now, and it uh, pops up. A little easier to find, so if you guys check out my video and then go to it, we're gonna try try these out. I don't know how good these are gonna be. <laughs> I'm hoping they're they're awesome. Um, it will replace the plastic hexes on here, which is a good thing. So let's um let's get this right here, huh? You can see that. Pop off this front one. See what we're working with. Yeah, these are just plastic hexes. Let's see if these just go right on here, hopefully. It did come with its own. In case the, the pins that you're putting them on are a little longer or a little shorter, you know. I'll pull this one out. Make sure it fits in there right. Yeah, see that one's just a hair bit too long. It'll probably snap in there when you tighten it up. But and this is the Element Enduro. Sendero. It's the kit. That's what I'm putting it on. Here's what most likely fit any kit. Yeah, that one fit in there nice. So I'm gonna use their pins that they came with, just because I'm pretty sure if you tightened up that screw, it would uh, sink that down in there, but. I know everyone says, oh, it's gonna put strain on the outside, but. It's all right, I want, I want my truck to have a little bit more wider stance. So this is why I'm doing this. And I'm gonna use some uh, blue Loctite, medium strength. Um, wait, let's see if that's going to work or not before I get too far ahead of myself, huh? That's not going to fit through there, huh? Nope. Got to be smarter than the... 
<laughs> Smarter than the rim, guys. <laughs> so then we put this on top of that. Yeah. That might not fit on these rims. Let's see. All right, guys, this, those things are tight, so little. They do fit in there, though. They fit in there nice. They're just a little snug, so let make sure. Uh, make sure you get them in there. These are going to be the bigger ones. Okay. Yeah, those fit on there pretty good. Uh, I thought they were moving around a little bit, but it's the um, it's the actual inside of the hub. Like I said, these take a little bit of persuasion to get them in there. So make sure um, you do this right. See, it's in there good, guys. It's just, uh, they're, they're very tight, which is good. You don't want them to be loose, so. A little, a little Loctite. I'm putting it in here just because it's. I need to run down in there. This is a uh, five sixteenths.
Way better. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. Oops. Oh, those stick to the ground pretty good. Just trying to turn them like that. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Yeah, that brought them out quite a bit. I like that. They were tucked under the tires, the wheel wells a little bit. Now they're out outside of it. Sweet. All right, there you go, guys. RC hop-ups, tires, rims, uh, 15 millimeter extensions. They, I think he has like 25 millimeter extensions. If you really want to get some uh, some real width in your your buggies, they're nice and sturdy. It's just the axle sliding back and forth and the bearing part. You see the axle sliding right there? That's what that is. Probably needs a shim or something in there. But yeah. It's a crawler. Cool. Alright, guys. Um links links down below for everything I just put on here. So uh you guys uh have a great day. Uh thanks for watching. Uh please like subscribe please like, subscribe, and uh Click that bell so you can see some more. All these hop-ups I'm putting on all these cars. Okay? Plus whatever bashing I'm doing or speed running I'm doing. Um, I've been trying to mix it up a little bit for you guys. Uh, let me know if that's good for you. Um, or if you like me just sticking to one car for a while. But I try to throw in a little bit of everything, you know. Um, a little bit of product. Showing off some product. Uh, working on some cars. Um... And then trying to do some uh, runs after work or on the weekends, uh, speed runs or just bashing. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching.